I'm flipping the script. Wait, you the kid with the lip? Nice cut, bro. It is Retro News Friday, and it looks like Netflix is making good on his promise to make Cobra Kai free to watch on YouTube. Also, the first Blue's Clues trailer for the new series is finally coming out, and Drago and Apollo are best friends. And we've got a ton of Retro News coming up, so don't turn that dial. Uh. <laughs> what up to my peoples, and welcome to Retro Crunch. Earlier this year, YouTube stated that they're going to be making Cobra Kai free to watch. But the one hitch to this was that they were going to be having ads on all the shows to support YouTube going with this free watch model. And there were a lot of people, including me, that were wondering when YouTube was finally going to go through with this. And considering YouTube costs about 12 bucks for a pretty limited and weak portfolio of decent content, it's probably best that they hurried on with this decision. But it looks like now, as of yesterday, YouTube has finally started to make good on this promise, starting with Season 1 of Cobra Kai. Right now, guys, you can watch all 10 episodes of Cobra Kai Season 1 on YouTube for free. And then on September 11th, YouTube is going to be making Cobra Kai Season 2 available to watch as well. And then according to Variety.com, YouTube will release its YouTube original shows for free as well. But they do plan on keeping the director's cuts and all the bonus content behind the paywall. So if you want to see any of the behind the scenes like footage or any stuff that they don't show in the actual show, you're going to need a premium account for that. This is all great news and hopefully it means that Cobra Kai Season 3, which is going to be coming out sometime in 2020, should be free to watch on YouTube the day that it releases. At least I hope so. YouTube is the type of animal that changes its mind sometimes and you can never really be so sure. So if I were you, I'd go watch Cobra Kai for free while you can. And then next in some more retro TV news. The first trailer for Nickelodeon's Blue's Clues is now out and honestly, I kind of like this guy that they picked for the new host. In this trailer, he calls up the original host, Steve, who was on the show from 1996 to 2002. And he was a great host on Blue's Clues. Then he also calls up Donovan, who was on the show from 2002 to 2006. Wasn't quite as great as Steve, but he was still okay. And the way, the way that Steve and Donovan are brought into this first episode to help introduce the new host, I thought it was a fun idea and I thought they did a good job with that. I think it was a cool way to start the show and a really good way to pass the torch to the new guy, Joshua De La Cruz. Y'all probably think I'm crazy for enjoying the show, but it's been a really long time since I've seen any of the episodes, but it really was a pretty good show for kids and I sort of miss it actually. But if you're a kid or you grew up, you know, watching this show or you have kids that grew up watching this show, I think you're really going to like it and I think you're going to like the new host. So let me know what you guys thought about this trailer if you've already watched it. If you haven't, go watch it and let me know in the comments down below. And then moving on, there is a new trailer that just came out for American Horror Story 1984. And this one is about a minute and a half long and there is some really cool 80s nostalgia in this new trailer. This new season is going to start on Wednesday, September 18th, and if you are a fan of Stranger Things, I think that you might actually enjoy this uh, new storyline that's about 1984. And then it looks like we're going to be getting a rematch between Ivan Drago and Apollo Creed. Yeah, that's right. He never died in Rocky IV. Okay, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. But there was a post on Instagram from Dolph Lundgren and Carl Weathers doing a workout session. Not sure why all of a sudden they're working out together, but it might be for a new Expendables movie. And then for the next bit of news, the original Ghostbusters movie is coming back to theaters for its 35th anniversary. It's going to be shown in more than 600 theaters starting on October 6th, so I'll link to that down below. Also, The Wizard of Oz has a new HD Blu-ray and digital pack with a bunch of new material and commentary that's going to be coming out on October 29th, so check that out. And for the retro gaming fans, Disney is re-releasing a box set of the 1990s Disney classic games Aladdin and Lion King. And it's going to be coming out on the Switch and the Xbox and the PS4. And it's going to be going for $29.99. Then if you're into retro and nostalgia stuff from back in the day, I'll see you in the next video that is right over there. I'll catch you on the flip side. And remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.